If you notice these seven behaviors, you're dealing with a fake nice person. Hello, lovely viewers. Ever crossed paths with someone who oozes sweetness but leaves you with an unsettling gut feeling? You're not alone in that experience. We've all encountered individuals who've perfected the art of appearing nice while concealing hidden agendas. But fret not, because today, we're going on a captivating journey together. Get ready to unlock the secrets of spotting these fake nice folks. We're about to explore 12 telltale behaviors that will serve as your secret decoder, helping you unveil the true colors beneath that saccharine facade. Buckle up for an eye-opening ride into the world of genuine human connections. Number 1. A little too perfect. Have you ever encountered that individual who seems to have it all together, perpetually wearing a smile and presenting an aura of unwavering perfection in their life? It's a scenario that can spark feelings of admiration and curiosity, but also a touch of skepticism. The truth is, genuine individuals, just like anyone else, undergo the full spectrum of human emotions. They feel sadness, anger, and frustration. Thus, when someone consistently projects an image of faultless happiness, it's crucial to discern that this doesn't reflect the reality of human experience. Trusting your instincts in these instances becomes paramount. If someone appears too flawless, there's a substantial likelihood that they're concealing their authentic emotions behind a carefully crafted fixade. It's vital to embrace the fact that it's absolutely okay not to be happy all the time and to recognize that authenticity involves acknowledging a range of feelings. So, when you encounter someone who appears too good to be true, remember that your gut feeling is likely right on the money. Number 2. Playing the Victim now let's delve into the delicate balance between someone who is genuinely facing challenging circumstances and someone who appears to relish playing the role of the victim. Sincere and good-hearted individuals tend to display a willingness to take ownership of their actions, and they use their experiences, even the unpleasant ones, as opportunities for personal growth and learning. They seldom habitually shift blame onto others when facing adversity. On the contrary, if you come across an individual who frequently portrays themselves as a perpetual victim, continually assigning blame to external factors and resisting any responsibility for their own actions, you might be encountering someone who is masquerading as a nice person. Authentic kindness and empathy are closely intertwined with accountability, as genuinely nice individuals recognize that personal growth and empathy for others often stem from acknowledging one's own actions and mistakes. Number 3. Fishing for Compliments Certainly, we all appreciate a sincere compliment from time to time, but have you ever encountered someone who appears to have an insatiable need for validation and praise? I can recall an acquaintance that habitually downplayed their own abilities and achievements in the presence of others, initially making it seem like an act of humility. Yet, as time went on, it became evident that they were doing it to elicit compliments and reassurance from those around them. Truly nice individuals don't incessantly hunger for external validation, as they hold a genuine sense of self-assurance regarding their strengths and awareness of their weaknesses. So. When you encounter someone who constantly seeks affirmation and validation, it becomes highly probable that their outward display of niceness serves as a mere facade to fulfill their perpetual need for external reassurance rather than an authentic reflection of their character. Number 4. Engaging in Gossip Gossiping, some may perceive it as a harmless pastime, but it holds a deeper significance when it comes to authenticity. Sincerely kind and considerate individuals tend to steer clear of gossip, recognizing the potential harm it can inflict upon relationships and the toxicity it can propagate. Therefore, when you observe someone frequently engaging in gossip, it should raise a red flag, suggesting that their professed niceness may not align with their true character. Those who habitually participate in gossip often exhibit elevated levels of anxiety and aggression, making it challenging for them to earn the respect and admiration of their peers, given their inclination to involve themselves in negative conversations. This behavior not only tarnishes their own reputation, but also has the potential to harm the bonds of trust and genuine kindness in their social circles. Number 5. Lack of Genuine Listening Genuine kindness is intricately entwined with empathy, and the foundation of empathy lies in active listening. 
There are those who can appear outwardly pleasant because they've mastered the art of saying the right things, yet their true character is revealed when it's their turn to listen. Some individuals in such instances may exhibit signs of inattentiveness, interrupting you mid-conversation, shifting the topic to them, or displaying disinterest in your narrative. This lack of authentic listening can leave you feeling unheard and insignificant, a subtle yet crucial indicator to take note of. If you're dealing with someone who consistently fails to offer their undivided attention while you're sharing, it could signify that their outward kindness is a guise for manipulation rather than a reflection of their true character. This breakdown in the give and take of conversation can be a poignant reminder that true kindness necessitates the ability to genuinely empathize and actively listen to others. Number 6. Manipulative Acts Let me share a relatable scenario. I once had a friend who, on the surface, exuded genuine kindness. She was ever willing to lend a helping hand and appeared deeply invested in my life. However, as time went on, I began to discern a pattern in her behavior, a subtle inclination to manipulate situations to her advantage. For instance, she would frequently extend offers to assist me, only to later use these favors as leverage to persuade me into reciprocating by doing something for her. It created an unspoken, yet palpable, sense of transactionality in our relationship, but not in a healthy or genuine way. True kindness is characterized by its lack of strings attached, a pure act of giving without any anticipation of receiving something in return. So, when you detect someone employing their kindness as a tool for manipulation, it raises a significant red flag, indicating that their professed goodwill might be a facade concealing ulterior motives rather than a heartfelt expression of genuine kindness. Number 7. Conditional Niceness Let's address this straightforwardly. There are individuals who conveniently exhibit kindness when it aligns with their personal interests. You've likely encountered this type, right? They can effortlessly turn on the charm when they're seeking favor or in need of something, but once their objective is fulfilled, their facade of niceness evaporates as swiftly as a birthday cake disappears at a party. Authentic kindness, on the other hand, is a constant, a genuine quality that doesn't fluctuate with self-serving motives. Truly nice individuals are consistently warm, empathetic, and caring, regardless of whether they stand to gain anything from their actions. So, if someone's kindness appears to be as switchable as a light, it's a warning sign that should prompt you to exercise caution and consider whether their intentions are driven by genuine goodwill or are simply a means to an end. Genuine kindness isn't a tool for personal gain but a reflection of character, and it's in understanding this distinction that we can foster more meaningful and authentic connections with others. In conclusion, dear viewers, if you've recognized any of these seven behaviors in someone you know, it's crucial to acknowledge that you might be dealing with a fake nice person. Authentic kindness is a pure, selfless expression that doesn't come with strings attached or shift like the seasons. It's consistent, unwavering, and rooted in genuine empathy and care for others. Identifying these telltale signs can serve as your secret decoder, helping you distinguish between those who are genuinely kind and those who may be using their facade of niceness as a means to an end. Trust your instincts and remember that true kindness doesn't need a reason or an agenda. It's a reflection of someone's character. So, whether you're navigating these encounters or reflecting on your own behavior, let's cherish the authenticity of kindness, for it's in genuine human connections that we find the true beauty of human nature. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey, and may your path be paved with authentic kindness and meaningful connections. If you found this exploration insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Keep nurturing your curiosity and stay vigilant in deciphering the language of true kindness. Until next time, stay